Elhamdülillahi Rabbil Alemin. Esselatu vesselamu ala Resulü el-Emin. Ve ala cemiyle enbiyayı ve mürselin. Brothers and sisters. Esselamu aleyküm ve rahmetullahi ve barakatuhu. Last week, uh, last week we talked about uh, Quran. We always talk about Quran, especially uh, this subject, which Quran. We have different differences in our Quran, and uh, Muslims were, were not were unaware of that majority of Muslims, because uh, they were not taught to, to realize that we have different Qur'ans in the entire world, although we have Hafs and Asim, which is the common, uh, uh, if I say, version of the Qur'an in majority of Muslims, maybe over 90% of Muslim world actually reading those, those Qur'an, the, that Qur'an, but there are other Qur'ans also circulating in the world, the Islamic world. And last week we spoke about that one and uh, played a few clips of uh, scholars, which uh, uh, all of them at the beginning, they, they were insisting that there is only one Qur'an. Muslims know only one Qur'an, not more than one Qur'an. They were insisting that there is no changes and even they say uh, in no changes in words and letters and all these things. But later on, later on, they change a little bit their, their position and accept that and admit that there are some changes in the Quran. Some changes, not only just the pronunciation or sound, but also in letters and words in Harakat also, there are some changes. Not all of them, but some of them admit that there are some changes. And we have to, we as a Muslim uh, believer in God, in God, uh, we, we, we should accept all truth about our religion, about our scripture, because if, if the, some scholars hiding this truth from the community, Muslim community, it's their problem and they have to answer before God. But we have to, we have to accept whatever we find out the truth about our religion, about Quran, about Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, about history books, about Hadith books, and all these things. We should know that. And I try my best to, in every program, to bring some of these information for uh, brothers and sisters, sisters, and they have to, those who want to, those who are interested in that subject, they can do some more research and find out because the material is available now, today and 21st century. It was not available in 20th century, maybe. Uh, uh, I should say at the beginning of 21st century, uh, but now we have, uh, this is a blessing from God that we have all this uh, information and we can, we can rely on that and we do some research and whatever truth come uh, to light, we as a Muslim should accept that one. If we don't accept that one, we are in trouble before God because the truth matters. Truth is the truth. If we are not accepting that truth and we are still accepting what the scholars said, then we are in big trouble actually. Quranically speaking, I'm talking about, we are in big trouble. We have to admit, we have to accept, open our heart and our mind and our eyes to see what is going on in our Islamic country and in Islamic literature, uh, when what, what is going on in, in the mosque, in Islamic mosques all over the world. The clergymen or the ulama or preachers, those, they deliver message, what kind of message they deliver. This is the problem we have today uh, uh, in, in this century actually. And uh, today I 
wanted I wanted to bring some, as I mentioned that some scholars at least admit that there are some changes. And I, I brought two uh, version of the Quran, which is which is the Hafs is very common one, the Hafs and Asim, uh, the common one, but also Warsh and Nafia, which is, uh, uh, I, I believe, the following the Northern Africa and that area, uh, maybe 3% of uh, Muslims following that Quran, Warsh and Nafia. Hafs, Hafs is a, uh, is, uh, transmitter in the reciter <clears throat> the reciter is uh, awesome the reciter is awesome and uh, and uh, hafs is the transmitter the narrator actually and that hafs died in 796 796 bc uh, i'm saying uh, so at this uh, you know almost more than 200 years, more than 200 years after the death of the prophet, he was living. In the Quran today we have, he is the narrator, he is the transmitter of that Qari, which was awesome. And also the same thing with uh, Warsh, which came a little bit later, maybe 20 years later, actually. He died 20, 20 23, 24 years later than uh, Hafs, I brought few few slides of those differences to see what kind of different the difference is there in the Quran today. In these two Quran, only two Quran, we are more than that. As one of the scholars last week I played, Dr. Shahzad Salim, he said, we have different five versions of the Quran. So, we will see. I want to uh, play that with you to see what we can see here. I want to share that uh, slide with you. And here in chapter 2, verse 9, at the beginning of the Quran, it says, وَمَا يَخْدَعُونَ إِلَّا أَنفُسَهُمْ the verse, the complete verse is يُخَادِعُونَ اللَّهَ وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَمَا يَخْدَعُونَ إِلَّا أَنفُسَهُمْ And they do not deceive. They do not deceive. وَمَا يَخْدَعُونَ They do not deceive, but their own selves. This is Hafs, verse 9. But if you go to the same verse and uh, Warsh, and Warsh says, Half says, but Warsh says, and they do not seek to deceive but their own selves. This is a change in this, this two Quran. And also, we have the next verse, which is number 10. It says, وَلَهُمْ عَذَابٌ أَلِيمٌ بِمَا كَانُوا يَكْذِبُونَ And awesome suffering awaits them because of their persistent lying. يَكْذِبُونَ Hafs. But Warsh says, وَلَهُمْ عَذَابٌ أَلِيمٌ بِمَا كَانُوا يَكْذِبُونَ Brothers and sisters, that was يَكْذِبُونَ and this is yukadzibun. It's a different. Even one letter is added here because yukadzibun has two letter dal, uh, actually. So yukadzibun. And well, uh, they have uh, awesome suffering awaits them because they give the lie to the truth. That's a difference. Uh, inshallah. Uh, brothers and sisters uh, can can uh, read that one later on whenever they want. And also in verse 58 of the same chapter, وَقُولُوا حِدَّةٌ نَغْفِرْ لَكُمْ خَطَايَاكُمْ وَقُولُوا حِدَّةٌ نَغْفِرْ لَكُمْ خَطَايَاكُمْ We will forgive you your sins or your mistakes. 
this is Hafs. And Warsh says, Qulu hittatun yughfar lakum khatayakum. Yughfar lakum. Hafs says, yaghfar lakum. Uh, I'm sorry, half, half says not yaghfar, let me see. Naghfar lakum. Half says naghfar lakum. We will forgive you your sins. And then Warsh says, Yughfar lakum khatayakum. Your sins will be forgiven for you. Your sins will be forgiven for you. So there is a difference. And the next Example is 85. It says, وَمَا اللَّهُ بِغَافِلٍ عَمَّا تَعْمَلُونَ And God is not unaware of what you do. What you do, تعملون. Remember this? And Warsh says, وَمَا اللَّهُ بِغَافِلٍ عَمَّا يَعْمَلُونَ And God is not unaware of what they do. In the previous slide, what you do, in this slide, what they do. This is a difference. And then in verse 119, the same chapter. وَلَا تُسْأَلُوا It says, إِنَّا أَرْسَلْنَا كَبِالْحَقِّ بَشِّنَا وَنَذِيرًا It says to the Prophet وسلم, that we send you with the truth as a bearer of glad tidings in the warner. And then says, وَلَا تُسْأَلُوا عَنْ أَصْحَابِ الْجَحِيمِ And you shall not be held accountable for those who are destined for the blazing fire. You are not held accountable. You shall not be held accountable. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to the Prophet. But uh, let's go to Warsh. What Warsh says, وَلَا تَسْأَلْ عَنْ أَصْحَابِ الْجَحِيمِ do not ask and do not ask of those who are destined for the blazing fire. Previous, the half says, you shall not be held accountable for those who are destined for the, for the blazing fire. And Warsh says, do not ask of those who are destined for the blazing fire. This is a different, this is a difference between these two verses, these two versions. In 125, same chapter, and take, take uh, says to the believers, and take all believers from the place where Ibrahim once stood, take that place as your place, place for your prayer. وَاتَّخِذُوا take وَاتَّخِذُوا take and then in Warsh says وَاتَّخَذُوا مِنْ مَقَامِ إِبْرَاهِيمَ مُصَلَّى they, the believers, they have taken that place of Ibrahim once stood as a place for prayer so they have taken in the previous slide it was command actually take but in this slide it says they have taken And then in chapter, uh, the same chapter, verse 140, Am taquluna in Ibrahim, Ismail, wa Isaac, wa Yaqub, wa Al-Aswad, kan hudan wa Amnasara. Am taquluna. Do they, uh, I'm sorry, do you say, Am taquluna. Do you say that Ibrahim, and Ismail, is, Ishaq, Yaqub, and his descendants or or who uh, uh, they were Jews or uh, Christians. Do you say that? But in Warsh version, it says, Am yakuluna in Ibrahim, Ismail, Ishaq. Do they say? Do you say in the Hafs version? Do they say in the Warsh version? So this is another change in the, these two versions of the Quran. And then verse 165, If 
they, the wrongdoers, should could see the punishment or whatever the verse says. So walau yara if they, the wrongdoers, could see, and then the worship version says walau tara, walau tara ladina valamu. If you but see those wrongdoers when they see when they see the punishment and the hereafter actually talking about that one. So walau yara and walau tara, these two two different words. And also in verse 185, 184 actually, it says, Wala ladina yutikunu miskin, ta'amu miskin, feeding a poor person. Those who cannot fast, for example, and they are too hard for them, they can feed a poor person, a poor person. But in Warsh version, in Warsh version it says, وَعَلَى الَّذِينَ يُتِقُونَهُ فَدِيَةٌ تَعَمُ مَسَاكِينَ For those who are unable to fast or it's too hard for them to fast, they can Feed, uh, they they can alleviate that from by feeding poor people, not one person, but poor people, many, three, four, five, ten, whatever. So this is different, S slightly difference in the word. If you mention, if you uh, notice, miskin or masakin, the consonant, the consonant is the same thing. Just the only thing is the different is the vowelization and also this, we call it Aleph Maksura, the short Aleph, the short uh, uh, Aleph actually, that makes it Masakin from singular to plural. So according to our Islamic jurisprudence, yes, they are, there are difference in, in that case. Here in this verse, verse 251, Were it not that God repels, dafa, repels, some by others, some by others. But if we look in the Wash version, it says, Were it not that God defend? Although the meaning doesn't change that man to defend or to repel is not, is not that much difference. But the, but the word is different. Dafa and Defa, the only difference is the Alif, alif Maqsura, which on the top of uh, Fe or Fa and make it a little bit different. So this is, they are two different versions of the reading of the Quran. Although the consonant, the consonantal, you the Rasim, we call it, uh, which is what, uh, at that at the time of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was that because vowelization was not at that time developed later on uh, it developed so uh, this is a little bit different yeah okay now now I want to we we noticed we noticed uh, these differences there are i have the quran here in my uh, shelf actually wash quran and i uh, you know tr try to see this quran with half quran and i found out about 400 of them 400 of them i actually put a sticker in every page every 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 page put a sticker on that that 
this, there are differences, 400 of them. It's mu much more than 400 because I, uh, the same, same changes over and over. I didn't put the sticker on those actually because they are the same, same thing. So I try to avoid, uh, uh, you know, skip that. Otherwise it was more than a thousand. 400 exactly, I uh, put the sticker on that. So, uh, but, uh, but the sad thing is that some scholars still deny that still deny that and I want to, I want to show you, this is, uh, I want to share this is scholar actually, this is Dr. Muhammad Hassan. I, yes, the, last week I wanted to play this, but I, uh, it was a technical problem I had. I couldn't play that one, but now I want to share it with you and listen to this uh, scholar, what he says. نتحدى أهل الأرض أهل الأرض من غير المسلمين أن يوقفون على خلاف واحد بين مصحفين على وجه الأرض في صورة أو آية أو كلمة أو حرف Brothers and sisters, you follow this uh, scholar and uh, this is this is a big lie. I just I want to admit that because this is not the truth. This is the lie. Why we should why we lie about these things? And he, uh, he challenges this brother challenges the entire world. And he knows that there are many Qur'ans circulating in Islamic words. Why they are hiding? What, what is the reason that they are hiding the truth? They are not telling the Ummah, they are not telling the Muslim Ummah what is the real truth about this Qur'an. This Qur'an we have, we all believe this is a word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala didn't preserve this Qur'an letter by letter and word by word. I'm saying, I'm repeating, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that, that does not preserve this Quran letter by letter, word by word, because I showed you 10, 15 examples. Letter by letter, letters is changed, words are changed. In all over the Quran, I have 400 of them in my copy. So why we, why we hide the truth? And why we, why we do not telling the truth to the Ummah? And this is our problem. And this problem, we kept it for 20, for, uh, uh, you know, uh, centuries. But now this is the time because, it, because we cannot hide more than this. Why we hide? If we hide the truth intentionally, we are in trouble our, in our belief. So we have to tell the truth, whatever comes to light. And he says, he challenges everybody that bring two Qur'ans that, uh, to show that there is changes in a verse or a letter or a word or even a letter. I, I don't I don't know how how they think, but anyway, this is Dr. Hassan. But I have uh, another Sheikh also here. I want to play that one for you. Uh, yeah, this is uh, Sheikh uh, Wasim Yusuf, and what they what he says. You see where's uh well, how do we play that one? Shaykh Wasim Yusuf. 
I want to let me close that one and bring that one again. Uh, minimize this one, just uh, forgive me brothers and sisters, just uh, one second because uh, I want to bring this brother. Okay, I want to bring it, just I opened it and now I want to minimize it and go back to Skype. Okay, now I can share this brother, Sheikh Wasim, Sheikh Wasim Yusuf. Listen to them. Soon will me, I for Rijal Din, Minel Malumat. To soon will me, while you redun and Nas and Talam, while you redun and Nas and Talam, while you have refun al Kalam, why you give the boon. See, this, uh, this brother says that 90% of information is hidden from the Muslim Ummah by the scholars, by clergymen. They are hiding the truth. And yeah, I, I watched his uh, video actually. He's talking more and more about that one, that they are hiding the truth. They are distorting the text or the truth. They are not telling the truth to the Ummah. And they are lying and all these all these, they are, he is blaming all of them that they are lying. They, why they lie? And just uh, we showed some of them today, and inshallah we we will be we will be in, uh, inshallah next week. Uh, we'll see what we can what we can do that. But uh, if you have any question, uh, just one minute left. I'm uh, ready to answer god bless you inshallah uh, otherwise we'll see you inshallah next time but uh, yeah Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. God bless you, inshallah.